In this video a sine wave oscillator working on 6850 Hz. So that's audible. And how to develop such simple one transistor sine wave oscillators. All these sine wave oscillators consist of a network that changes the phase. But anyway take that for granted. This is the circuit. And here it is on the breadboard. Very simple. I made quite a few of them in the past. Here you see the sine wave that's generated. And um, all is very simple. But there are a few important things to tell. This is a 47k potentiometer. And that setting from that potentiometer is critical. So connect your scope to, your, to the output here. This is the output. This is by the way the minus. This is the positive. I use a BC547B transistor with a good amplification, say 300 or so. That's also necessary in such a circuit. And uh, the phase shifting network, all these resistors are 1K, 1000 ohm. When you change, for instance, here these three capacitors to 100 nanofarad, so a factor 10, the frequency goes down substantially. And when you diminish them with a factor 10, we go to 1 nanofarad and the frequency goes up. So these three capacitors are responsible for the frequency. And again, the setting here from that bot meter is critical. And the most important thing to tell is that uh, when you want to make such a sine wave oscillator on a higher frequency, say above 8 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz or say 20 kilohertz, this capacitor has to be ceramic. That's very important. And you can do some experiments changing the value from that cap. So again, very important. CX must be ceramic on high frequencies. And that's the reason why I've used here also a ceramic capacitor. Because it works now on 6.8 kHz. And I want to demonstrate somewhat the criti how critical that working point is. I changed the working point now. So tiny differences on that potentiometer make that this circuit oscillates or does not oscillate. And also the effect from changing one of the capacitors, I do that now experimentally, I change this capacitor by a factor 10 with this capacitor here connected via crocodile clips. And when I do that, you can see that the frequency changes substantially and also the waveform changes somewhat and that has all to do with the fact that such a sine wave oscillator is a critical a critical electronic circuit. So that was all to tell. Do some experiments. This circuit always works. You can try it etc etc. And I wish you lots of luck with this circuit. And you can go to approximately, say, 100 Hertz or so, or 200 Hertz with this setup. On the low frequencies, say 50 Hertz or 10 Hertz or 20 Hertz, this circuit does not work properly. The waveform is distorted, etc., etc. And in that case you need a so-called Wien Bridge Oscillator. And as far as I know, there is a video on my YouTube channel about a Wien Bridge Oscillator.